acid, bases and indicators. There are so many things that we use every day. We have been sorting these things in different ways. We classify things as solid, liquid or gas. We have even separated substances as good conductors and bad conductors of heat and electricity. In this lesson, we are going to learn one more way of classifying things. Acidic, basic or neutral. This lesson is about acids, bases and also salts. First, we will take a look at acids and bases. Acids and bases are everywhere. The lemon juice that you drink is an acid. It tastes sour and stings if it gets in your eye or a cut on your skin. Substances like vinegar and some soft drinks are acids too. A sour taste is the indicator of acid solutions. But don't go around tasting anything and everything to check if it is acid. That is really dangerous. What else do you eat that is sour? Buttermilk. Yes, that contains an acid. Even tamarind has acid in it. All these are natural acids. Acids are also quite corrosive. They can eat away at a metal. Have you seen what happens when lemon juice falls on a marble kitchen counter? The lemon juice reacts with the marble and bubbles of carbon dioxide are released. Since buttermilk is acidic, it is not kept in a copper vessel or the copper vessel will get spoilt. What about bases? You may wonder. Chalk is a base and so is soap. Bases are soapy to touch when mixed with water and taste bitter. But again, remember, it is dangerous to go around tasting stuff, so please don't do it. Well, if we can't go around tasting stuff, how will we find out whether it is an acid or a base? We have something else. It is called an indicator. An indicator is something that indicates or tells us something. Your face is an indicator of your moods. It tells us whether you're happy, sad, bored or sleepy. Similarly, we have indicators which are substances that tell us whether a substance is an acid or a base. One such indicator is litmus. Litmus is made from lichens. Do you know what lichens are? When a certain algae and a fungi come together, they form a lichen. The dye extracted from these lichens is called a litmus solution. It is purple in color. If an acid is added to it, the solution turns red. And if a base is added to it, the solution turns blue. Another very easy way to find out whether a substance is an acid or a base is by using litmus papers. We have two kinds of litmus papers available, red litmus and blue litmus. We should put a drop of the liquid that we want to test on both litmus papers. If the liquid is an acid, then the blue litmus will turn red and the red litmus remains unchanged. If the liquid is a base, then the red litmus will turn blue and the blue litmus remains unchanged. If the liquid does not change the colour of the blue litmus and the red litmus, then the liquid is neither an acid nor a base. It is said to be neutral. Let us try doing the litmus test on different solutions and find out whether they are acids or bases. We will record our observations in this table. Name of the solution, effect on red litmus, 
effect on blue litmus acid base or neutral we are going to write the name of the solution then the effect on red litmus the effect on blue litmus and our inference which is whether the liquid is acidic basic or neutral let us begin let us test detergent solution first we put some detergent solution on the red and blue litmus and observe what happens then we note down our observations in the table detergent solution the effect on red litmus was that it became blue there was no effect on the blue litmus paper therefore the detergent solution is basic next we will test vinegar we put some vinegar on the red and blue litmus and observe what happens then we note down our observations in the table there was no effect on the red litmus paper while the blue litmus paper turned red therefore vinegar is acidic the third test is for tamarind solution we put some tamarind solution on the red and blue litmus and observe what happens then we note down our observations in the table there was no effect on the red litmus paper while the blue litmus paper turned red therefore tamarind solution is acidic finally we test soap solution we use baby soap we put some soap solution on the red and blue litmus and observe what happens then we note down our observations in the table there was no effect on the red litmus paper and there was no effect on the blue litmus paper therefore the soap solution was neutral another indicator is phenolphthalein it turns colorless when it is added to an acid and turns pink when it is added to a base turmeric is an indicator too you can make turmeric paper by putting a turmeric paste on filter paper and then drying it now put a drop of a basic solution like soap solution on the turmeric paper what happens it turns deep red put a drop of an acidic solution like lemon juice on turmeric paper what happens nothing there is no color change so turmeric is a natural indicator it does not change color when added to an acid but becomes red when added to a base here's one more indicator that you can make at home using petals of the china rose or the hibiscus flower cut approximately 10 mature hibiscus flowers remove the stigma and detach the leaves so as to have only the red petals remaining put them in a container and pour approximately 6 ml of ethanol or surgical spirit the latter works best crush the petals using an appropriate implement such as a mortar and pestle crush until all of the liquid has been extracted from the petals filter the solution and you have the reddish indicator ready in an acid it becomes redder in a base it becomes dark green almost black acids and bases are of great use in our everyday life you know that acids are quite corrosive because of this property concentrated hydrochloric acid solution is used to clean toilets acidic foods also make our food tasty tamarind has tartaric acid lemon juice has citric acid buttermilk and curds have lactic acids there is even acid in the digestive juice of our stomach it kills the germs in the food and helps us break down the food and digest it even red cabbage 
has a natural indicator. It turns violet in acids and greenish in bases. What did we just learn? We can classify substances as acids, bases and neutral substances. Acidic substances are usually sour to taste and basic substances are usually bitter. But it is dangerous to go on tasting things that are unknown. Hence, we have litmus papers which we can use as an indicator to find out whether a substance is acidic or basic. We have two kinds of litmus papers available, red litmus and blue litmus. We should put a drop of the liquid that we want to test on both litmus papers. If the liquid is an acid, then the blue litmus will turn red and the red litmus remains unchanged. If the liquid is a base, then the red litmus will turn blue and the blue litmus remains unchanged. If the liquid does not change the colour of the blue litmus and the red litmus, then the liquid is neither an acid nor a base. It is said to be neutral.